In this video, we're going to see how to use the Analytics Canvas Query Library and how to share query definitions using export and import. To access the Query Library, you need to go over to the Data Sources tab and click on Query Library. You'll see here, your Query Library will be empty. I've saved a number of different queries into mine, so we've got some things to look at. If you click on a query, on the right, you'll see an overview of what's in that query definition. So let's take a look at how we add queries into our library. We'll load an example from the last tutorial to show how having a query on a canvas makes it available to you to enter into the library. We can see here now we've got queries in current file. By clicking on Add to Library, now that query will always be available for us whenever we're using Analytics Canvas. The other place where the query library is available is when you're creating a new data source. So after you pick your profile, you've got a choice between New Query or Query Library. New Query gives you a blank slate. Query Library lets you jump directly to something that you've already defined in your library and use that to create your import. Finally, the other thing you can do using the library is to exchange queries with other people using Analytics Canvas. Click on a query and press Export, and you'll export it to a file. And this file can simply be emailed to somebody. In this case, we'll send it to our friend Doug. And in Doug's query library, Analytics Canvas, he simply clicks on Import, picks that file that we just sent him, and now it's available in his library for doing all of his data imports. Next up, we're going to be talking about advanced filters using the filter block and advanced segmentation using segmentation rules, two very powerful blocks within the library. If you haven't already downloaded a trial, go over to Analytics Canvas and sign up. Try it with your own Google Analytics data.